Hello everyone, my name is John and I'm part of the e-learning team at Barnet and Southgate College. I'll be introducing to you Dropbox. Dropbox is a free service that lets people bring their photos, documents and videos anywhere with them. Any file you save to Dropbox will be automatically saved to, the, to your computer. Now I'll be showing you how to create an account on Dropbox. First you do is really just fill out all of this and then click up sign up. Once you signed up you should be taken to a page like this. I'm just going to log in and show it to you. Page looks should look similar like this. It's got a good a good bunch of features. For example, you can upload, you can create a new folder, which is a good way to organize stuff if you've got a lot of documents. Another is to share your documents and the other is to delete files. Sorry, delete unnecessary files. This is and it's got some options to the left which show the Dropbox which shows all your files. The sharing bit where you can share your the folder you want to share. The link the links where you can link your folder to anyone and the events which is quite a useful thing which allows you to, to see what exactly is happening in your Dropbox account. Also if you go back to Dropbox there's a search bar which allows you to search for the document you've put in. Let's say you've got like a huge list. You can just literally type in type in the folder you want to find and you can just press enter and they'll find it for you automatically. You can also find out your settings as well by clicking on settings. By clicking on drop down arrow, click on settings. This shows you how much space you have on space you have on Dropbox. Your account settings, which you can you can change your name, your last name, you can add you can connect it to your faith Facebook connect it to your Twitter, import accounts from your Gmail, Yahoo, you can also change your account preferences, your email preferences, you can also add, you can also change your security, change your password, um, check your, your email device, also you can also, a good point, you can also get bonus space by completing out surveys, inviting your friends, and also if you click on my apps, it will show you what, what apps Dropbox is connect your Dropbox account is connected to. Let's say you wanted more space on your Dropbox account, you would go to upgrade, and depending on what plan you want, you can you start stuff at nine dollars ninety nine, which is roughly seven seven eight pound for at least one hundred gig extra space. And also, you can do team ones, which is built for businesses, which give users one terabyte of space. Let's say you wanted to install um, Dropbox onto your computer and you don't, you don't want to use the internet. First you click on install and download it. Just wait for that to download. Once it's successfully downloaded you just click it. Just click run. And press yes. And install. I'll just wait for this to install. Shouldn't take literally a minute or two to install to your computer because this is a small smart file. And once it's done, you should see this little box appear. If you don't have a Dropbox, you can sign up for one. If you do have one, just press I already have a Dropbox, put your email in. Press next. Just waiting for the server. And there's okay, they show you some more plans you can do than 100 gig for $9.99 or 200 gig for $19.99. Roughly £8 for this one. It's £15, £16 for this one. I'm just going to go next. Typical advance. You can choose whichever one you want. So you're new, just go with typical. And since I already have a folder, I'm just going to click on merge and you can enter your telephone number if you want connect it with your smartphone, I'm just going to go next and there's a short tour of how to use Dropbox on your computer you can just, I can just, I'm just going to skip it because I already know and you can also, there's a little box here that says open my Dropbox, leave that ticked and press finish and it will come up with a Dropbox icon which will show you your all your documents in this so all your documents on your computer. Let's say you still needed a bit more help using Dropbox. If you go back to the main page, 
you should get when you even when you first create an account you get a um, a PDF called getting started if you click that it will take you a page which is called Dropbox quick start which tells you all about Dropbox which is and it shows you how to add how to add files to it how to share folders how to share your links and some more features that you can have a quick read about and also there's also a QA QA uh, FAQ which is frequently asked questions about Dropbox which can be found there as well the reason why staff and students should use Dropbox is first of all it's very easy to use and easy to access everything the user has put in the Dropbox will be saved automatically so there's no need to worry about data loss and because of everything being saved on the Dropbox there's no need for physical devices like memory cards or portable hard drives students wouldn't have any excuse for leaving their work at home because Dropbox can be accessed from their home and from the school making it a very, very reliable application for accessing documents videos and other resources thank you for listening you'll be expecting more videos Bye for now.